This is going to be Miller, Chapter 4, Number 8. The consequences of decriminalizing illegal drugs have long been debated. Some claim that legalization will lower the price of these drugs and reduce related crime, and that more people will use these drugs. Suppose some of these drugs are legalized so that anyone may sell them and use them. Now consider the two claims, that price will fall, that's one claim, and that quantity demanded will increase. Well, that would come with a fall, wouldn't it? Based on the positive economic, based on positive economic analysis, which does not mean happy, cheery, you would probably tell happy, cheery is not my thing. Positive economic analysis just means based on data. Based on positive economic now analysis, are these claims sound? Well, I've drawn our model here, and I've drawn it for the good pot, because that's what we're really talking about here. He says some illegal drugs. That's been the movement, so let's investigate these claims. If we had legalization, and of course what that is kind of could matter, but you notice he says, um, and the author says, uh, where is it? Uh, anyone may sell them and use them. Anyone may sell them and use them. So what that implies is that the number of sellers is going to go up, right? So supply is going to increase. If supply increases, indeed, that pushes down. If you follow where this ruler intersects the demand curve, the price should come down and the quantity demand it goes up. But it also says something about more people using them, right? Legalization, of course, more people are likely to use them the number of buyers is likely to go up or people's taste for this is likely to go up because now there's not the risk of being in trouble, right? So if we were to increase demand, that pushes up on the price and out on the quantity. So this question ultimately is a lot like uh, the first question that we did with this chapter number four, such that what we might expect is a simultaneously simultaneous shift of both supply and demand. So if we draw in our supply increase, that is a supply increase that pushes down on price and out on quantity. But if we draw in our demand increase, well now my new equilibrium is one in which the quantity is surely up, but the price change could be the same or roughly the same depending on how much the two things shift. So to circle back to the uh, the soundness of the claims, price will fall and the quantity demanded will increase. We could see an increase in quantity purchased uh, in the market but the claim that the price will fall is pretty unlikely. It's going to, the only way the price would fall is if supply increases at a greater rate than demand increases. That's the only way that that's possible. So I hope that helps you answer the question.